Hey, what's up, Bobby Tribe? Today, we are gonna be testing to see if the trick that I have up my sleeve is myth or magic. I have never done this before. We are going to see if we can revive these two dirty, bee-free water filters. I've used these multiple times on multiple trips. They both got gunked up at different times. I've tried to clean them the best I can in the normal way that they say, but they've slowed down a little bit, so today we're gonna see if we can make them back into a like-new condition, or if this is just a myth, so, if you're interested in that, stay tuned because I may save you the cost of buying a new filter. If you're new to the channel, we're Outdoor Vitals and we are all about getting you all the information you need and the gear to get you on the trail comfortably and confidently. If you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe uh, button down below and also the bell notification so that you can know when we launch new stuff. We have an amazing series going on right now called the Hardline Challenge. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for that because we did some epic stuff, including fast packing over 60 miles and going out on the Uinta Highline Trail, which is over 100 miles long and most of it being over uh, 10,000 feet in elevation. So make sure you go check out that series. It's really interesting. There's a lot more faces on there than just mine. So you'll be very entertained. All right, so let's just dive right into this. Right in front of me, I have a measuring cup that can measure about two cups of water. I thought this was a little bit bigger, but this is what we're gonna be using. And then I've got the magic sauce, a gallon of distilled water. Now this tip, came across my desk a little while ago. By desk, I mean my phone when I was at home watching YouTube and uh, just saw the idea kind of came to me and I saw someone else try it and I wasn't convinced on their video. So now I've got to try it for myself and then share that with you guys. So we are going to attempt to clean these water filters with the still water and see if we can get rid of some of that mineral buildup. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two filters. We're gonna time how fast we can fill this cup up. Um, and then we'll know that our baseline and then we'll do the cleaning aspect and then from there we'll come back and filter again and see if it improved at all. Both of these filters have been shaken and cleaned the traditional ways and so what I've been told and what we're hoping for is that some of the mineral buildup on the filter gets taken away by the distilled water because distilled water does not have minerals in it. All the minerals have been stripped out of this. And so we're gonna see if that's fact or fiction. With these two, one of these, I've removed the little cap right here and one of them I have not. That's how I'll be able to tell these apart. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this. The first thing that I did want to mention, a little pro tip here, is you can blow back in the top of this to check the integrity of the filter. If you can blow air backwards through this when it is wet, then you've got a broken filter and you need a new filter anyways. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to time these, um, filling up to the two cups mark. On your mark, get set, go. I'm gonna try to put the same amount of pressure um, as evenly as I can. Obviously this is 100% scientific. Already I'm less than impressed by the flow rate of this. At the one cup mark, I'm gonna change my grip. Now, I'm not applying a ton of pressure. I'm not someone who really loves to do a ton of pressure, just because I don't wanna break my filter or force impurities into the filter. It might see me shaking, it's just kind of the, of the position here. All right, there's two cups, time. So that was about 45 seconds for the filter without the cap. Here we go with filter number two. On your mark, get set, go. Ooh, way better flow rate. This one is clearly not as dirty. I'm not even gonna re-grip. There's two cups. All right, so that was 12 seconds and that should be much more of what your Catadine is like. Now this one has the ring on here. That's how we'll tell them apart, but 12 seconds. I'm actually gonna clean both of these. I, uh, this one's been used. It's been vigorously cleaned, obviously, but it has been used. Let's see if we can speed this one up at all, but mainly let's see if we can get that 45 second one down to closer to 12 seconds. All right, so there's a few parts to the cleaning that I'm going to do. Step one, I'm gonna put the distilled water in here. I'm gonna shake them as much as I can and swish them and do all the things that they say to clean those cationines. Then I'm gonna dump that water. Then I'm going to soak them in water for about 30 minutes. After that, I'll come back, reshake them up a little bit, and then we'll test them again. So let me go ahead and do that right now. All right, we've done the initial shaking. Now let's go ahead and fill these up a little bit. I don't need to fill them up all the way, so I'm gonna fill them up about halfway, push all the air out of them so they're completely saturated and let them soak for 30 minutes. Now, some people will just drop these in a cup. That would work, especially if I was at my own house. I would probably just do that method. I could probably use a little bit less of the distilled water. I'm just gonna push all of the air out of that. Tighten it down so that that filter is completely soaking in that. 30 minutes and we'll be back. 
All right, we came back, it's been 30 minutes and we're going to test these just to recap really quickly. Why the heck is this working? Well, the idea is that distilled water doesn't have minerals. By soaking them in there, we're loosening up those minerals. We'll give them a quick shake, try to break any free, and we'll see if this is gonna save these water filters. Okay, I'm gonna go dump out the distilled water and put in regular tap water so that the test is consistent and then we'll see if they've sped up. All right, so we're gonna start off with the faster of the two. This one did 12 seconds last time. Let's see how fast it is this time. Three, two, one, go. Try and apply the same amount of pressure. There, 10 seconds, so a mild improvement. I don't think you're gonna get much faster than that, but we kind of already knew that. So let's get to the one you guys actually care about, the 45 second one. I honestly have no idea what I expect to happen. I'm crossing my fingers that this works because I'd like to save this filter. Um, these things are awesome and I hate when they get gunked up a little bit, but it's taken some serious abuse out on the trail. So three, two, one, go. Getting close to one cup. Need to regrip my hand. I'm not sure if we're gonna improve the time here. Ah, come on. And there, 36 seconds. Clearly just as good as a brand new filter. I don't know what to think about that. I think um, that's obviously an improvement, right? But it's not a massive improvement. So I'm wondering if we need more testing. Right now, I just feel like it's kind of inconclusive. Like, I don't know if we've busted this yet or not busted it. So let's take one more step to make sure we get a final answer for you guys. I am going to put in a little bit more distilled water. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit again, but mainly I'm gonna push a little bit of the distilled water into the filter and through the filter and then I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and retest it and see if maybe that was a missing piece in here. Um, obviously we did increase it. Maybe if we just repeat the same process, we're gonna get an increase again, but let's see. All right, attempt number two. It's sat here for another 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another really good shake and we'll see if this time we got the result we were looking for or if this is just a myth and is not worth doing. rid of this and we'll go put regular tap water in so it stays the same all right here we go one two three go it's definitely not going to be another 10 second one full cup cup and a half feel like i'm losing grip on this thing uh, two cups 42 seconds well there you've got it guys distilled water to clean your catadine did not work for me i think we should call this a myth don't fall into that myth apparently it doesn't work if i'm able to test something else i will let you guys know but as for right now i do think the practice of soaking it and then shaking it is a good thing but i don't think it's worth buying an extra gallon of distilled water i think you could probably do that with your tap water at home um or maybe there's some other tests we need to try. If you think of something else to try, hit it in the comments below. I've heard people mention um, a few different substances that I might be interested in trying in the future. So the myth has been busted. Don't waste your time. All right, guys, remember, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We've got the hard line challenge coming up. It's epic. It's some of the funnest hiking we've ever done, um, but it was brutal. And there's a lot of twists and turns. It's very entertaining. You learn something, go check it out um, and make sure you just subscribe to the channel. And with that, we'll see you on the next video.